Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy, eight five nine, coming at you again. <clears throat> All right, this is probably gonna be a long video again. I know I just put one up that was long, but um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I got some tags to do, and three of the three of the four tags uh, are are yeah tags that I got or tag videos I got tagged in whatever have to do with knives. So. I figured I would just lump all three of the knives together and just call it like knife talk uh, three tags or something like that or ultimate tag or ultimate knife tag or something like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do each one in sections uh, just so that and I'm going to tag different people for each section. And then when I tag people, I'm just going to like send them a link and say, hey, you know, you're tagged and you're tagged, you know, in the middle of the video or uh towards the end or whatever I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet but so anyway um first tag was started by California prepper uh but he tagged friend sniper and friend sniper tagged me so what I like in a knife blade style you have to give your favorite and then your least favorite of each of these it, I guess that's how it works so my favorite blade style by far is a drop point. Uh, it's, I like I'm simplistic. I like simplistic things, easy, but pretty at the same time. Uh, so drop point for sure by by far favorite. Least favorite, it's no surprise, is the Tanto. I just I hate that. I hate thing. Oh, not really hate. That's such a strong word. I dislike things that are that have one use. And to me, a Tanto is strictly self-defense or fighting knife in my opinion uh, lockup <clears throat> my favorite lockup either the axis lock or the uh, the compression lock it's really it's a toss-up between those two my least favorite lockup probably ironically enough it's not a lockup like a slip joint just because I, j I just don't like them I don't know I, j I like something that locks, you know what I mean? Uh, favorite steel. You know, probably the ZDP-189. Um, even though I only have one knife in that, the, the Dragonfly. Man, that, that was so incredibly sharp. Just right out of the box. It's insane. And... I've done so much with that knife, and I can still I can still shave harm uh, harm I can still shave hair off my arm. It's nuts. I've shaved bark off tr off uh, um, limbs with that knife, like whittled with it, and and haven't touched it up at all, and I could still shave with it. Outstanding. Um, my least favorite is just the cheap the cheap shit. That's it. Just plain and simple the cheap shit. You you make up your mind what you think that is. <laughs> um, handle material. My favorite handle material. Uh, I don't know. Um, my Carta is really really cool because it's so versatile. Like you can you can make my Carta out of anything. So I think not just not just function, but the way it looks and the things that you can do with it I think my Carta would have to be uh, number one for sure uh, least favorite stainless just a plain stainless steel like the you know the spider codes that you know have just a stainless steel body it's just plain and to me it's just ugly um, and then my favorite length uh, I'm my sweet spot is like three, three and a half. I, anything bigger than that, it's just it's too heavy in my pocket. So, um, and I and I won't carry it. So that's just my personal opinion. So there you go. That's the five uh, favorite and least favorite of each one. I'm gonna tag three people, two of which I don't think I've ever tagged before. And if you want to do them, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. But I just figured I'd you know I'd tag some people I've never tagged before. Uh, Smoke Eater 908, brother, I, you know, I've never tagged you in anything, haven't had a whole lot of uh, interaction with you, but um, if you want to do a tag, man, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, the next archer, 
that's my buddy. I've had a ton of interaction with him. I just don't think I've ever tagged him in anything. So the next archer, I'd like to hear those uh, those answers from you, brother. And GT knives, I'm gonna tag you in this one and the next one, okay? So I want I want a, a VR from you for this one and the next one. So get to work. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna move on to the next one. The next tag was uh, from AutoTech91, and I think he I think he started it. And it's just knife choices, okay? So it's just a bunch of random questions um, about knives. Um, and he just wants a choice. It's like either or, okay? Tanto or clip point? Clip point all day. Reference the first tag. <laughs> I, I hate Tanto. And it's, I know, that's such a strong word, but I don't like it. Uh, G10 or FRN? I don't know, man. It's it's hard to it's hard to say. Feel okay. If I go by feel only, uh, it's G10 hands down. But if I had to go for weight reducing, FRN. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of a uh, a toy a toy a toy. Oh my god, a coin toss. Um, toy. I can't believe I said that. That's three times now. But you said we have to choose, so I'm gonna say. G10, just because it, to me, it's superior uh, to FRN. Um, VG10 or 154CM? I'm gonna have to go with 154. Uh, I've had, I've had, not extensive amount of um, experience, but I've had experience with both of them, and I, I like 154 better. Uh, tip up or tip down? Tip up. I've explained this in other videos. Tip up. It's safer, in my opinion. Um, stud, flipper, or spidey hole? Ah, uh, flipper. Nah, just ax that right away. I hate flippers. Ah, uh, I can't. Man, I gotta quit using that word. Um, spidey hole because you can open it diff uh like several different ways. I'm gonna go with spidey hole, just because. Well, one, it's my favorite. Uh, production knife company and two it, it's versatile so uh, wire pocket clip or hourglass pocket clip wire clip all day it looks better to me um, there's really no I don't think there's a form or a, a function difference in the two there's still pocket clips but I think me personally I prefer the looks of the pocket clip of the uh, the wire clip pocket clip uh, pen construction or screwed construction Screws all day. Who would even say pinned? Uh, carbon fiber or the Nisogen, uh, Nisogen glass. I think that's how you say that. Um, carbon fiber, I would say, but like like pure, like real carbon fiber. That, that shit is sexy. Uh, back lock or liner lock? Liner lock all day. I don't know who would say back lock unless you're, unless you're into the nostalgia of it, but... Liner lock for sure. And then axis lock or ball cage? Axis lock, definitely. Definitely. It's smoother to me and uh, it doesn't take as much force. And I have one sitting next to me. It's just it. it's so much easier to to manipulate to me than the, the, ball, um, the ball cage lock. So that's it. Um, so basically those, what is that, 10, 10 questions? Uh, it's just either ors. And I'm going to tag Center 77, Exacto, Tech Love, and GT Knives. So, uh, yeah, so Tanto or Clip Point, G10 or FRN, VG10 or 154CM, uh, Tip Up or Tip Down, Stud, Flipper, or Spidey Hole, Wire Clip or Hourglass, Pen Construction or Screwed Construction. Carbon fiber or the Nisogen glass, uh, back lock or liner lock, and axis uh, lock or ball cage lock. All right. <clears throat> so the third and final tag comes from Hydra572, and he, I think he started this as well. And it's um, it's it's kind of easy as far as you know. There's not a bunch of questions, just two questions, but. I think it's really awesome and really unique, and I tagged three people, uh, well, a couple of them are pretty damn big channels, one's extreme, everybody knows one for sure, if you don't, if you don't know Cutlery Lover, 
then uh, you don't know anything about knives. Like you, you don't even like knives if you don't know cutlery level. But anyway, so um, what folder would you like to see as a fixed blade? And then what fixed blade would you like to see as a folder? So my folder that I would like to see as a fixed blade would be the paramilitary too. I think that'd be that's just dope. I love that knife. So that's pretty easy. Uh, fixed blade is a folder. I thought about it, and it. I guess it's still a knife. It's not really a machete. The se uh, unglis, or however you say it, junglis. <laughs> just because that thing is massive, a ten-inch blade. It just it it's just funny to me. Like it would be hilarious to see that, um, and badass, all kinds of badass at the same time. So. Uh, those, that's my two answers, so that's a, it's a quick and easy tag, and, um, I'm going to tag somebody, a couple people I've never tagged before, abominable, or, well, it's one, abominable one, uh, I haven't seen anything from you, uh, for a while, buddy, so, I'd really like to, to see you respond to this, uh, Cajun Blaze, man, uh, not A, not B, but C, huh, I love that, dude. Uh, and then Cutlery Lover, uh, you know, just just some big channels. I'd really like to see, especially this one, I'd really like to see your opinion on that because I think that's really a, a cool idea for a tag. So, uh, you know, what's your, um, what folder would you like to see as a fixed blade and what fixed blade would you like to see as a folder? And I'm tagging Abominable One, Cajun Blades, and Cutlery Lover. So I'm going to send everybody messages and then send them a link to this uh, video and... I don't know. I can't wait to see some video responses. If you would, if you make a video response, please post it as a VR to this video uh, so that I can watch it. Because, I, I mean, I, I'm genuinely interested in seeing all of your guys' answers for each one of these individual tags. So, all right, guys. That uh, pretty much concludes my long-ass knife talk slash tag video. <laughs> Tag her easy, guys.